Every occasion is better with a good cigar. That's why Shane and Randy created a uniquely wild business. They got a great deal on a 73 Airstream and Old Stogie Company Mobile Cigar Lounge was born. Serving Victoria and the Crossroads area, this 31-foot vintage Airstream with its custom interior and outdoor seating options will elevate your event and impress your friends. Enjoy comfy benches, custom built and walls made of reclaimed Hurricane Harvey fence slats. You could say Old Stogie Company was literally built on whiskey and cigar smoke. The next step in this crazy venture was to educate the public about cigars and the culture surrounding them. So the Old Stogie Radio Show was born. Here they are, your hosts for the next half hour. It's Randy Pollard and Shane Blucker, a.k.a. the Old Stogies. Thank you, Stacy. We are the Old Stogies. I'm Randy. And I'm Shane. And Shane and I have Old Stogie Company. We are a mobile cigar lounge that we've built into a 31-foot Airstream trailer. Her name is Stella Stogie. We provide not only great cigars for sale on location, but a really nice, comfortable place to sit and smoke and just let the day run off of you. Old Stogie Company is available for private events, for fundraisers, weddings, and parties. Be sure and check our website, oldstogiecompany.com, for pricing. Now, we also do public events. Talk a little about that, Shane. So, yeah, we show up at a bunch of different locations in the Crossroads area. Um, And in those events, everyone's invited. Yes, those are the ones that are open to the public. Um, We're there selling cigars. Nice air-conditioned place for everybody to hang out in. Um, Most of the events, you're allowed to bring your drinks in, so we have a good time. Hope to see you there. So, Shane. How yes, was your sir. weekend? Yeah, it wasn't bad, you know. Yeah. Our house is on the market, so it seems like it seems, really? yeah, every spare minute's working on the house. But yeah. one yeah. thing I like about at least yard work yeah. is I need to get me a nice yard cigar, a yard gar. Yard gar. Yeah. Jump yeah. on that riding lawnmower and just ride around and you know. Yeah. Cut grass, smoke a cigar. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Yeah. And uh, our son was actually in town this weekend. Oh, Drew. Yeah. yeah. He just popped in, um, brought his dirty laundry and looking for some groceries to take back with him. Ah, so very good. Yeah. He's a uh, he works at a bank right now, but he's also a musician. So we got a, a, a YouTube channel idea that we're going to start for him that could be a lot of fun. So keep an eye. We'll, we'll talk about that more later okay, in great. the future. Yeah. But yeah, it, it should be fun. There there might be fines and bail money involved, but yeah, it uh, well, sounds like it could be really you, good. Thing. You know what I say? It's not a party till something gets broke. Yeah. So there you go. There you go. Hey, what kind of music does he play? Uh, any. Any. Yeah. He also, as he calls it, makes beats on the computer. I and see. Yeah, he sells those actually, though. Really, he really does. Yeah, he sells beats. He sells, yeah, not the does little he, red does ones. Does he grow on him? Yeah. Grow him himself? Or? I knew where you were headed. <laughs> okay, <laughs> dad joke. All right, so so he plays uh, like classic rock and progressive rock, and maybe a little Slavic folk music, maybe mostly the Slavic, M- mostly the the folk music. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. Nah, he plays a little bit of drums, a little bit of guitar and yeah. piano. Oh, nice. nice. So mostly yeah. drums. Yeah. Oh, very cool. Very cool. Old Stogies. What's going on, guys? Hey, hey Stacy. Stacy Taylor here at Club Classic Rock. So I've been listening the last several weeks to your Old Stogie radio show. You guys are kicking butt. Ah, well, thank you. Thank you. We've got a great producer. It's taken me 20 years to get to where you are now. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out, Howard Stern. That's it. Yeah, yeah. No kidding. Just saying. This is so cool. So out and about, the old stogie. I've seen your Airstream parked right there on Main. How old is that thing again? 46, right? 40, 46 years. She's 1973. And when did you renovate that thing? Oh, that was done from October through January. Wow. Uh, so this, this is a new baby year, for you, a new year. venture. Yes. New venture, yeah. About absolutely. eight months into it. Yeah, and and about why eight cigars? It. Is it like you both are cigar fanatics? Is that what got this going? It sounds like it was a, a over a drink or two and a stogie, and this <laughs> little baby was born. <laughs> it's more uh, than a drink or two. Yeah, yeah more than <laughs> a drink or two or stogie or two. And No, we used, you know, we've been friends a long time. We'd sit out on the back porch, have a cigar, have a bourbon, and just talk about whatever and uh, then we, we saw one of these up in the hill country, and it's like, okay, we have something new to talk about. And then about two months later, we bought an Airstream, and there we were. And there you were. And yep. what a cool retro thing. Thank Anybody you. that likes that like old VW bus is going to love this Airstream. 
We get two kinds of people that come to the lounge. Yeah. Ones that like cigars and ones that just like Airstreams. Exactly. They just want to talk about Airstreams. Exactly. I'm, I'm kind of of the latter because my grandparents <laughs> pulled an Airstream for 20 years. I grew up on road trips pulling an Airstream behind a big old Suburban. So you struck me in the heart. But I'm learning. I'm, I'm a brand newbie when it comes to stogies. I appreciate your guidance uh, when I have visited no your problem. lounge. Uh, sure. Everybody starts somewhere and we want to make sure the start is a good one. Hey, Shane, this weekend uh, we had kind of a light weekend, right? We took Friday the 13th off. Right. Right, because nobody likes broken mirrors and black cats, and, and I'm kidding. Don't send us cards and letters. We all love black cats. Uh, but we just... Mm, uh, I don't like cats hey, in hey, general. Hey, 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 well, Settle down. I'm a cat lady. I, oh, well, I like cats, too. I was That was just for the... Anyhow, don't, don't write us on that. <laughs> Uh, I have actually, so many, go ahead and write us. I'd like to see what letters come in. So many cat stories I could tell. <laughs> I bet so. Uh, but yeah, we spent Saturday at uh, at Whistling Duck Winery uh, up in Weimar, which is always fun. Wine Club pickup day, so they had all the good stuff out there, and we just enjoy being out with, out there with them. Uh, but yeah, we took Friday the thirteenth off, and I it was, was nice. happy for that. It was yeah. nice. It was like our first Friday off in months. Eight. Yeah. Yeah. Eight so, months. So that was kind of nice. We enjoyed that. So what we got coming up next Saturday? That's going to be fun, right? The uh, the brew at the zoo. Yep. Yeah. Free beer. Free and beer. animals. Well, the animals aren't free. <laughs> the animals are not free. Uh, no, but they're going to have Texas music, uh, great brew, snacks, live music, and uh, quote animal encounters throughout the night unquote i'm guessing they're going to bring animals around so shane what's our tagline for this event well that's that's one of the things if if you go to this event which i do believe it's open to the public right it is but you do have to have tickets i believe okay we are going to donate 10 percent back of all our cigar sales all cigar sales 10 percent. yeah so our tagline is going to be smoke a lot to save an ocelot. Excellent. I love that. We like that. That's yeah. That's catchy. It is catchy. I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can hear my wife rolling her eyes right now. Is that what that is? Yeah. I was wondering what that was. Yeah, yeah I think you're right, though. I think Jill's rolling her eyes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. And so the weekend after that, we got some big events that weekend. What's going on then? Uh, the Deutsch and Deutsch event out at the, the jewelry store on the Zach Lentz Parkway. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Last be great. time we did that, it was great. And I think that was the night that we actually got the truck stuck up to the up axle. Up to the axle, yeah. yeah. We buried the truck up to the axle, and uh, Stogie, uh, Estella was okay. Yeah. She we had to have good. a guy with a tractor come and pull both out. This is after we called a tow truck driver to come out and get <laughs> us out, and he walked over and said, yeah, you fellas are stuck. So we knew we were screwed at that point yeah. when the tow truck driver just said, you know, I don't believe there's nothing I can do. And he's a nice guy. Don't Don't judge it by the accent. So uh, also the 27th, we're going to be back at O'Neill's down yeah. on the bay. O'Neill's, great place. Great time. And yep. then on the 28th, we're going to be at a private party, which is one of our favorite things to do. You know, Absolutely. weddings, bachelor parties, birthdays. We've even been known to do a Super Bowl party. Yep. Um, with Christmas coming up, call us. We can do a great Christmas party. Oh, uh, corporate Christmas parties? Yes. How or any cool corporate would party. that be? Or, or any corporate party for that matter. But it's getting that time of year where a uh, corporate Christmas party would just be absolutely fantastic. Call us. Get that schedule. Get on the calendar early because our, our November and December are definitely going to fill up. That's a 361-415-3100. Oh, that was brilliant. Thank you. I didn't even think about uh, doing that. Yeah. So what do we got coming up in the next segment? I think we're going to just really touch on some, best way to describe it, horrible, horrible cigar advice. Excellent. Yeah. I love horrible cigar advice. We have a, a lot of entries for yeah, this. Yeah, we, we do have a lot of entries. So uh, uh, stay, stay through the music. You don't want to miss any of this. And we're going to be back in just a few. We're here on Club Classic Rock 106.9. Hey, welcome back. We're the Old Stogies. We have Old Stogie Company, a mobile cigar lounge. And we've got our own radio show, too. <laughs> we are just as surprised as everybody else out there. <laughs> Maybe a little more surprised than some of you out there. But, uh, hey, listen, in, in, this, uh, in this segment, we thought we would recap some of the most horrible cigar advice and that, stories and stories some of these are story form some of these are in in story form they're written in first person but but some of this is just bad bad advice bad advice go sit in the corner uh about cigars and uh then we're going to tell you why and uh we're going to tell you what the good advice is shane why don't you start 
All right. Well, one of my favorites that we had sent in to us, uh, there was this gentleman. He was hanging out at his local cigar shop talking with some regulars. And they started talking about old Cuban cigars. And one of the gentlemen, older gentleman over in the corner, said he would love to have a pre-embargo Cuban cigar. Mm -hmm. We all know how old those are. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but he said, you know, at first this guy told him, man, those aren't going to be any good anymore. And this guy's great advice yeah. to him was, yeah, seriously, so all you have to do is yeah. take a syringe, fill it up with water, inject the cigar with water, throw it in the freezer. Yeah, yeah. that's that was his advice to bring a cigar back. He said he even pulled out, and I use air quotes, a cigar, because it was a Philly peach. <laughs> really yeah. Technically. But, uh, yeah, yeah, he lit it up the moment he pulled it out of the freezer, and he got a couple of nice cold puffs off of it. Wow thinking that was crack i i'm i'm thinking there was crack involved somewhere mm -hmm. there yeah i don't even know what to do with that advice never inject your cigars with water yes no no don't no just don't and don't put it in the freezer for goodness sake just not a great idea what's the little dance for over there I actually put them in the freezer i mean as a last resort can sometimes prolong the life if you're one of those that smoke like once every six years well maybe but, but it's also going to dry it yeah because that's yeah i mean it's it's dry cold air in there yeah so. exactly so just look before you do any of that stuff just smoke the cigar yeah or bring it by the lounge we'll smoke the cigar that's that's the best <laughs> no we won't <laughs> <laughs> remember last week's advice here smoke this oh Not yeah happening. here smoke this no yeah. no really i'm good no i'm fine i'm great I squirted it with water and yeah no don't do that so uh here's some advice for you that that is worse than horrible keep your ash going for as long as possible now the mark of a good cigar is a long ash and why is that shane well it shows how well it was rolled mostly yes yeah. A long ash will give you an indication of how good the cigar is, but if you just let it go and go and go, you got a four inch ash, I guarantee you that's going to wind up on your shirt or our floor. So let it go about an inch and a half. And what's the proper way to ash a cigar? Just roll it lightly on the inside of the ashtray. That's it. That's yeah. it. Never tap that ash. No. No. Wow. Just don't do it. Anyway, what you got? Well, this one's kind of a long one. And I think you're going to understand why <clears throat> okay. this gentleman was saying, and I'm going to read this, so pardon me, <clears throat> I'm not the world's best reader. I was enjoying a black label Lancero, which was great while it lasted. And a couple of my friends were asking to take a few puffs off of it. Well, this one kid, we'll call him John. Oh, I hate was, John. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Was holding it for a while and it went out. He proceeded to tell everyone that cigars get tainted by normal lighters. And the only true way to light a cigar was by natural flame. He proceeded to stick it right in the middle of the fire by the coals, pulled it out, and proudly smiled. Wow. The cigar proceeded to get cracked, and finally, it fell apart. He seemed quite proud of, of destroying my cigar, and it was the only one I had that night. I cringed so hard, but what are you going to do? So... More horrible advice. Pretty horrible advice. Your yeah. first mistake yeah. was sharing that cigar. You never share a cigar. Never. Never. Mm. Write that down. Everybody listening right now, get a pen out, write it down. Never share a cigar. Spring and buy your buddy a cigar. Don't ever. Don't ever. Unless it's it. your wife. Love yeah. you, baby. Yeah, love you, baby. You can have a drag. It's okay. No problem. Um, a lot of people prefer to light their cigars uh, with cedar strips. Um, because uh, people that smoke a lot of cigars will tell you that a torch will give a slight butane taste to the first quarter, half inch, uh, and then a match will give a sulfur taste the first quarter, half inch. Personally, I've never tasted that. Shane, have you? No, I really hadn't. Now, with the Bic lighters, yeah, a little bit, but, I mean, it's like the first quarter inch or so, and yeah, it's gone. It's gone. There For you me. go. But... Uh, we just recently added cedar strips in the lounge uh, to where if that is your preferred method of lighting, we can now accommodate you. So there. So I have one about lighting cigars. Oh, let's do that. Another guy in a cigar shop. <laughs> yeah. And they were all standing around talking about the proper way to light a cigar. Okay. When this older gentleman said, 
that the perfect way to light a cigar yep. is to toast the foot okay. and then put the burning in in your mouth. And blow really hard. That sounds like a perfect way to toast your throat. Uh, I'm not sure about toasting. The, what? I've seen people do that with joints, but not cigar. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, let's not do that. Let's uh, let's not do that. <clears throat> it's not safe, first of all. And second of all, it's just dumb. Um, so you don't want to be that guy, for sure. Here's one. Here's some, here's some great advice. Uh, great is in air quotes there, guys. You can't see it. Clip the head of your cigar, but smoke it from the foot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, no. no, not really. Mm-mm. Yeah, good is in air quotes. That's right up there with, you can grow tobacco by planting a cigar stub in your backyard. You know, I've had <laughs> cigar nubs growing for about six months, and I'm not growing a damn thing. It is so great just to go out there and pick off a cigar and start It really smoking. is. It really is. I planted it right next to my money tree because uh, that's how dumb that idea is. Yeah. So I have one more. <clears throat> um, okay. It's one of my favorites. There was this guy at the bar. Yep. And he was trying to tell everybody that he was a cigar expert. Gotcha. And the best way, the absolute best way to get the most enjoyment out of your cigar yep. was to dip the foot in yeah. into your scotch or your bourbon. Right. So he proceeded to take a cigar, unlit, and he dipped it about an inch, inch and a half into his shot of bourbon. This is the foot end. The foot end. The end okay. you light. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm listening. Yeah. I've seen people dip the the head in yeah 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 the cap yeah the cap but uh no he dipped the foot in and then proceeded to get horribly mad when it wouldn't light wow (laughs) wow (laughs) that's uh that's uh kind of self-inflicted uh stupidity there right yeah i don't know about that oh well you know we can sum all this up with this one right here if you hold a cigar by the foot of it and hold it up to your ear you can actually hear the ocean. And for you people that like flavored cigars, yeah. after you light it, yeah. dip the cap in and chocolate milk. That always seems to be a good one. Why have I never done that before? Right? Because I'm not stupid. That's why. Chocolate milk? <laughs> okay. All right. That sounds great. Well, listen, uh, you guys join us on the other side of the break. We got a few more of this really good advice that you do not want to miss and we're also going to dip in in the mailbag and we're going to tell you again where we're going to be over the next couple of weeks so listen enjoy the music club classic rock 1069 welcome back thanks for staying through the music we are the old stogies we're here on club classic rock at 5 p.m every sunday or after the Texans game. So hang around for both. Texans game and the old Stogies. Shane, you got some more bad advice for us? Yeah, actually I do. And oh, cool. Some of these are just horrible to uh, think about. The worse, the better. Let's yeah, hear Yeah, this guy was telling a story um, how he bought an Arturo Fuente at a bar and we pulled the wooden sleeve off. Yeah. It was covered in mold. Nice. Underneath. So he mentioned it to one of the employees. Like, yeah. hey, look at that. You know what their answer was? What? It was a sign that the cigar was aged well. It'll be fine. Go ahead. Oh, that's incredible. So you get your nicotine and penicillin all in one shape. (laughs) Mold is not a good sign, just for the record. Uh, Neither are if you open your cigar and it's got bugs in it. Those are called tobacco beetles, and those are not good. That's an indication that the cigar has not been stored correctly. Right. Here's one. We actually have somebody that has done this. What's that? I don't want to give out a name because I think the person will be embarrassed. Okay. But what was it me? No. Okay. This cigar advice, and I'm sure it's tongue in cheek, literally, is uh, to lick your cigar from head to foot to seal in the flavors. Wow. I I could go several places with that. Right. I don't think I'm gonna. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I I. And this is actual advice. Please do not lick the cap into your cigar and then hand it to us to cut it. Yeah. Because it's not going to happen. Yeah. No. (laughs) We're not going to cut it at that point. You're going to gnaw that baby off at that point. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's weird. Uh, Well, you know, somebody wrote in to us and told us that uh, their friends cuts uh, their cigar at the band and then when he snips off a little at the shoulder that he's doing it wrong Mm -hmm. yeah so a a proper cut on a cigar 
is at the cap is at the cap but it should never go past the shoulder right yeah because then you risk uh uh, having the cigar unravel on you having the wrapper come off and then just bad things happen and i've actually had somebody tell me that you should not smoke more than two-thirds of the cigar you should not get it down to a nub level so you can plant the rest no because it makes you look poor (laughs) oh i see (laughs) Like, you can't afford what cigars. If, what if I am poor? Can I do it? Right. Yeah. yeah. The best cigar <laughs> advice that you could give somebody yes. is absolutely nothing. Agreed. Keep your mouth shut unless asked. If they don't beforehand. ask, just let them it's smoke It's not life cigar. and death. It's a cigar. It's a cigar. It is. It's, it's an experience, and you want it to be a good one. But, uh, yeah, your nose doesn't belong in their cigar. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, hey, what do you think about going on to the mailbag now? I think Stacy's got some uh, mail for us. Stace? Yeah, I do have a couple of questions. Thanks, guys, for having me on this Sunday. Uh, I have a question here. How do I fix a cigar that's burning wrong? You ever encounter that in the lounge? Oh, yeah. There's Sometimes. a multitude of different ways. Yeah, there's... Multitude. Multitude. What would be your recommended That's like route? an $11 word. It well done. depends on what's going wrong with it. If it's yeah. running, sometimes you can just hit it with a lighter and you can correct it that way. Yes. If it's tunneling, tunneling's a whole completely different thing. And if people aren't familiar with tunneling, it just burns in the very center and not the wrapper. The edges burn. And sometimes... Before you realize that it's doing it badly, you've lost, you know, an inch of the cigar. At that point, if there's still enough cigar left, it's best just to snip it off and start over. Yeah. And if you're not familiar with running, running means that it burns up one side and not the other side. So it burns real uneven. Yeah. And if it's just having trouble staying lit, I mean, there's things there. Maybe it needs a different cut. Agreed. Maybe it just needs a good pinch on the end maybe so you know until you hear a little crack and then it run because you're hot boxing it that's sometimes. my experience with other things it, sometimes yeah. a, a hot box is, is kind of a different uh, different problem uh that you're smoking and the cigar is just really hot to your tongue and hot to your lips and uh more often than not that's caused by smoking too fast well okay. running can also be because if there's a, a wind source that's hitting it too yes from golf experience yeah. you know i've ridden in a cart with people that don't necessarily like cigar smoke so i let it hang out the side of the golf cart while i'm driving the cigar right them too um (laughs) but yeah i mean having that just floating in the wind like that it'll it'll start to run sometimes that way so yeah yeah there's a lot of different ways that can that can generally be fixed fairly Mm -hmm. easily though and and we can help you in the lounge identify why it's doing that so, and, yeah. you know, in our lounge, we actually have a policy about that. We do. If you have smoked less than an inch and you are still having trouble with that cigar, come up and talk to us. We have that one-inch guarantee. Absolutely. One-inch guarantee. If you don't like the tip, we'll take it back. All right. Another question. I think this is a good one. This might apply to somebody that might have been invited to something. What cigar would you recommend as a cigar gift? If you have been invited to a bachelor party and you want to come bring in some some supplies, what would you recommend? Well, if you're not familiar with what the group likes to smoke, I would generally go with a a good Connecticut, a light cigar. So you got everybody covered. Agreed. You know, if you show up with a dark Maduro cigar, I you mean... turn people off. Yeah, you could make a few people sick. So would you compare that to like showing up with a light beer as opposed to like a Guinness? No, that would be like uh, showing up with a uh, nice Blanton's instead of a Fireball. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Whatever. Uh, I, I, I'm a little tongue-in-cheek there. But, yeah, Shane's absolutely right. Uh, err on the side of lightness and err on the side of maybe or a smaller variety cigar. pack, for that or matter. Or a variety pack, because there may be some experienced smokers there, and, and somebody wants a Maduro, but somebody wants a Connecticut shade. And, and uh, yeah. But if you're just giving a, a friend a cigar, y- you almost can't go wrong with a variety pack. Right. Okay, so thank you, Stacy. Remember, guys. Thanks uh, for having me, y'all. Oh, this yeah. fun. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for being here. Remember, hit us up on the Facebook page. Send us emails. We love to answer your question on our radio show. So uh, what do we got coming up here? We got a lot of things coming up between now and the end of the month. And October is insane. We got lots of stuff in October. Wow. It's insane. Um, yeah, stop. Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, September 21st, we've got Brew at the Zoo. Right. On the 26th, we'll be at Deutsch and Deutsch. It's a customer appreciation night. We'll have great cigars there. We'll be hanging out in the parking lot. Uh, Coastal Ben will be providing the liquor. Yep. 
And, uh, of course, they're going to have all kinds of great specials and deals on all their jewelry inside the store. That's a beautiful place, too. It is. Really nice people. So you yeah. should come out. The customer service is impeccable. There. It's incredible. Yeah. And on the 27th, we'll be by the bay again. O'Neill's. Yeah. Yeah, very nice. Love Patrick and Andrea. Absolutely. We should have them on the radio show. Oh, we are. Oh, good. Patrick's good. already said Andrea will do it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he said, ask her one question, just stand back. Uh, and then on the 28th, we have uh, a private party, which is something that we just love to do. Really enjoy that. And again, yeah. to touch base on that, private parties are a specialty for us. And with the, the holiday season quickly approaching, um, get with us. You know, we, we're great at any kind of corporate party, Christmas party, anything like that. We can do a private Christmas party at your house. But uh, yeah, just give us a call at 361-415-3100. Yep. Or go to oldstogiecompany.com or go to our Facebook page, either one. Right. Yeah. So what is the big thing that's coming up soon? <clears throat> oh, the big thing coming up soon is podcast. Podcast. Yes, podcast. We are so close. We're not there yet, but I can see it from here. Uh, it is very, very close. We're hoping to record our first episode of the podcast Friday, I think. Yep, and we actually picked a name. We did pick a name. Tell them the name. It is Old Stogie's uncut yeah uh we were very close between that and after hours yeah. uh so we went with the uncut after hours what was like choice 15 it was out 15. of how many three three yeah um but yeah be looking for that uh we're we're gonna get a couple shows in the can and then we'll be rolling that out and we'd love for you to listen to that we're gonna have a wide variety of guests and when we don't have guests it's just a couple old stogies sitting there Chewing the fat. And no topic is off limits. No topic is off limits. Just no arguments. That's that's our only thing. That's just like in the lounge. We can talk lounge, about yeah. anything you want to. Just no arguments. No arguments. Yep. Yep. So, hey, guys, we appreciate you all uh, tuning in. We look forward to seeing you next Sunday. And uh, as always, smoke them if you got them. And we got them. This has been the Old Stogie Radio Show. Tune in each and every Sunday at 5 p.m. to catch up with Randy and Shane about their favorite pastime, drinking whiskey and smoking cigars. Find out more and book them to enhance your next event at oldstogiecompany.com.